welcome everyone. We will continue on with this deep presence. Thank you. Thank you for that. And enjoy this time together. Uh, giving our gratitude and thanks to our way shower Jesus. And, and it's so beautiful that it's Father's Day. Very interesting we time. It's been a very precious weekend that we've all shared together. And we've come here to open our hearts and to deepen in the trust and to continue our walk with Christ. To be the hands and feet, to be the light that shines and radiates out into this world. And we've, we have accepted, we've said yes to that. And we are opening and walking deeper and deeper in that. And the idea that was coming to me today was that everything is forgiven and now we are accepting that. That's what the atonement is. It's nothing, we're not generating something new, we're just accepting the correction in our mind that was given to us. Our one responsibility. So, I want you to place on the altar of your mind this morning Anything that has been bothering you or irritating you, any yearning that has felt unfulfilled, any need or lack. On this Father's Day, place this on the altar. And we offer it up that we may have a clean and clear and open mind to go forth and shine your love. Extend your peace. Amen. And Cheryl, would you read from the Course in Miracles for us this morning? really want to express love, express peace, express happiness. As has already been mentioned, today is Father's Day. And has already been mentioned that has two meanings um, for those of us feeling that love connection with our, our earthly father today. And then also for all of us knowing that that deep connection to our true Father. That love that never ends. That joy that is always there. So I wanted to share a little bit about myself. Um, and, and just maybe a, a little bit about how I've gotten here on this couch with David Hoffmeister. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, I would say I've been a spiritual seeker for most of my adult life and, and trying many different paths and, and finding something a little lacking 
in all of them. Like I felt like, oh, there's some truth here. I really recognize that. And then there's some truth here. But then they always felt like there, there was incompleteness. There was something that wasn't whole in that, in that thought system, in that thought system. And um, eventually I started working with the Course, and I don't think I got it right away. I was doing the workbook lessons, and I was studying on my own, and then I, I walked into a Barnes & Noble, and there was Disappearance of the Universe. I had no idea it was about the Course, but I, I knew I was supposed to get it. And uh, since then, it's been very clear to me that this is my home, this is my path. A little bit after I started um, leading core study groups, and um, soon after that I actually went out to California, I, I live in the Chicago area, and I went to a men's retreat. Um, this one's called uh, the Grail, evocative of the Holy Grail, our, our search for peace, our search for truth. And I had an experience there. Um, every participant goes through a rite, a ritual. And in mine, I, I really invoked Jesus. At the very outset, I said, I want to know Jesus. I want, I want to experience your love. I want to know your presence as fully as I can. And I went through a very dark, dark, painful experience after I invoked that. Um, but it, it led into this, this very beautiful space of light. Another participant shared with me afterwards as I was feeling this anguish during this time that um, he, he saw the crucifixion in the pain that I was, that I was uh, feeling and the pain that I was letting come through me. And so, and then it, it flipped into this experience of joy and this experience of the Christ and this experience of oneness and happiness. And um, somewhat amazingly, uh, soon after that, I was, I was actually just washing off, I was taking a shower, and I noticed that my, uh, my feet hurt. And I looked down, and, and I had uh, two open sores on my feet, uh, which I realized is a stigmata, that I had, I had you know, wounds in my feet, right where Jesus was was nailed to the cross. Uh, the wounds healed fairly fairly quickly over a few few days. But um, another thing about my connection to Jesus is that I, um, I I've tuned into a number of my past lives. And I, I assist people in doing that. It's my profession. Um, one time I got in touch with a very intense past lifetime. And that lifetime um, was at the time of Jesus. And I, I, I knew that I was a Roman soldier who, who nailed Jesus to the cross. Um, it was an amazing experience when I got in touch with this. Because um, I, I turned to look at Jesus as I was nailing him to the cross. And there was no judgment. There was no pain. There was no fear. There was no, no anger. I mean, I, this was my job, basically. As a soldier, I'd done this a number of times. And to have that experience shook me. It moved me. It helped me to see that, that there was something more. And I think it's, it's that testament to the unreality of the body, to the everlasting nature of our Father that he expressed in that experience for all of us is, is a testament that he is the way shower, that he is walking these steps so that we can know these steps are ours as well. There's nothing special about Jesus. He, he is that elder brother. He is holding our hand. And he is guiding us on our journey. I really appreciated the guided meditation this morning that Lori led. 
It's just so beautiful, so beautiful. And I, I too wanted to read a little bit from the Course, a section about our Holy Father. This is from Obstacles to Peace in Chapter 19, in the second section, the second obstacle to peace, which is the belief that the body is valuable for what it offers. You want communion, not the feast of fear. You want salvation, not the pain of guilt. And you want your father, not a little mound of clay to be your home. In your holy relationship is your father's son. He has not lost communion with him, nor with himself. When you agreed to join your brother, you acknowledged this is so. This has no cost, but it has release from cost. You have paid very dearly for your illusions and nothing you have paid for brought you peace. Are you not glad that heaven cannot be sacrificed and sacrifice cannot be asked of you? There is no obstacle that you can place before our union. For in your holy relationship, I am there already. We will surmount all obstacles together for we stand within the gates and not outside. I just really want to say thank you to everyone who is here. Thank you. And thank you, God. Thank you, God, for your everlasting presence in our hearts and in our minds. We cannot be without you. We can imagine maybe that we can, but that does not make it so. So we express our everlasting gratitude. And I want to say thank you to David, too. <laughs> so in all our ways today, may we go forth and be the demonstration of the love and light of Christ. Let the Christ shine through our eyes, and smile through us, and laugh through us, and hug through us. And may we be protected and watched over in all our ways. Thank you all. Amen.